Roberts become the rallying cry of the 2019 Yankees, and that's next man up. And it, it sounds trite, it sounds cliche, but there's no other way to attack this. No, there really isn't. You're only 20 games into the season. That's the remarkable part here. Nobody saw this coming. Nobody expected it. You can bet that uh, Brian Cashman's on the horn right now, looking for depth pieces, looking at all his options. Who knows until we find out what the deal is with it with Aaron Judge. But anytime you hear that he's got an oblique injury and getting an MRI, that is just not good news. And, and really, if you look at this, the Yankees can't use it as an excuse. And uh, 10 and 10 is not the worst start in the world. But I will tell you this, it could be a reason why they've struggled as much as they have, because these are not just injuries to just anybody. These are significant pieces of what this team was trying to build, and it's hard to shake off. And the Yankees are fortunate that guys like Clint Frazier and Mike Talkman have stepped up. Yeah, extremely fortunate. And the next man up thing only works if the next man up provides and produces, and so far so good. But there's a long way to go. There's plenty of time to get a lot of these injuries back. I think the concerning part is, is that you don't really know other than Gary Sanchez, who we know is imminent, the rest of the guys that are big pieces, as you mentioned, we don't really have a firm date as to when they'll be back. So the, that makes the that makes the future a little more murky. All right, now the Yankees could go for the series win tomorrow, which would give them three out of four against the Royals. That means they swept the Boston Red Sox. They lost two out of three uh, to the White Sox. But the bottom line is on a nine-game homestand, if the Yankees win tomorrow, six and three, and that's pretty good when you're banged up as much as they are. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I've always said, you know, I, I, I kind of wear this out. If you can hang around 500 during the bad times, that when you do get hot and you do start playing better and get healthy, that you can really extend yourself and really get that many more games above 500. And contrast that with the Red Sox right now, the team that won 108 games last year. They, they've got some work to do just to get back to 500. And they, that's almost as if you're in a position to waste that hot streak when it does come. So all things considered, from a record standpoint, Yankees win win today 500 they win tomorrow they head out on the road uh, above 500 by a game but still a lot of questions as to what that lineup's going to look like in the future